Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, what I wanna do is I wanna start showing you guys how to create apps with multiple screens or multiple views. So up until this point, we only worked with a single view application. And this was just using one screen, one view. And you can create some pretty cool apps like this, but all of the really popular apps, they use more than one screen. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now there are a lot of different templates that you can use to get started, but the easiest way to learn, in my opinion, is just using this tabbed application. So what this does is if you select this and click next, it's gonna start you off with two different views, two different screens. Now for this, I'll just name it like um, tab, I don't know, example, everything else looks good, next. Sure, that looks good right there. And all right, so let's go ahead and look at our storyboard first. So the first thing we see is, well, first of all, it's pretty big. So if you just scroll to the right and right click, you can zoom to 50%. And that lets me show it a little bit better. And also if I adjust this. All right maximize my teaching area right here all right so we see that it's not really set up like a typical app like a single view application now here's what we have we have one gray thing called a tab bar controller and then we have two of these things that kind of look like the views we were used to before so let's run this example again seriously and let's see what we got all right, so by default, before we add any code or add any things to the interface, this is what it gives us. Now this gray area right here, this main thing on the left, what that is resembling is this down here. Now the reason that it's gray instead of a separate view is because that part, it doesn't change. No matter where you are in your app, this bottom bar, this tab bar controller is always going to stay in place it's not gonna disappear or anything now these views we can switch between them by clicking these buttons down here now of course we got two right now the first view and the second view and that was just what we are given by default just to show us you know the bare basics of how this navigation controller works now let me go ahead and close out of this and in order to really understand how everything is put together, instead of me just saying, okay, giving you a bunch of terminology, I think the easiest way is just to create a brand new screen. So we already have this first one. We already have a second one. Let's go ahead and create a third one. And we'll create this one manually. And once we see how to create it, we're going to understand piece by piece exactly how it's done. So to add another screen, what... I want you guys to do is go, let me give myself a little bit more space. Go down on the bottom right and click view controller and drag it out. So this is gonna give you a new view controller. In other words, another screen. Now, before I go on, I wanna mention this. Why am I saying view controller sometimes and why am I saying screen? Technically, these different areas you look at, these different screens are called views. However, I really don't like that term because everything all of these things right here are views all the items you add are technically views all the entire screens they're technically views so instead of me just saying view 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 for everything i'm going to review i'm going to refer to the individual items as items and the screens as screens even though like i said i could call everything a view a table view um a progress view a view controller but you know just so I don't sound like a robot. I want to talk to you guys like in how you would explain something in real life. But if you're taking a test or if you're learning this in college, don't call them screens. They're called views. All right. So now what we did, of course, is we added this view controller, AKA a screen to our application. So we now have three screens, first, second, which were given to us, and this new one, third one right here. So now we can actually go ahead and start adding items to it but since we kind of zoomed out it may be hard to kind of uh, play around with it so i'm going to zoom back into 100 percent and what can we add to this one 
Um, let's just go ahead and add a label. So I just add a label and we'll say that this screen is for, I don't know, like your profile or something. I just don't want to say third because I don't know, it's kind of boring to me. So we'll say that this is your profile page. Let me just click this and increase the font a little bit. Let's go with 30, a nice even 30. All right, now another thing that I can stretch this, but what I'm gonna do is just go to editor, size to fit content, and then it fits it for me the lazy way. And another thing I wanna do is just change the background of this, just because all this white, I really wish that they did give you kind of a tinted background by default because um, when I'm just like looking at this close up, I'm like, okay, where is it on the left or right? And then I have to like search for it. So I like to give everything a nice little tint. All right, how about this blue right there? Good enough. All right, so now we have, like I said, three different views, three different screens. So now let's run this in the stimulator and check it out all right we have the first one we have the second one where the heck come on i thought we just made a brand new view a brand new screen so where the heck is it well we did create a brand new view let me close out of this it's annoying me however we have to tell ios to actually connect this with the main navigation so right now it's just sitting in memory in if you can tell by these arrows, it's not really connected to anything in any way. So how do you connect this to the main tab bar controller so it's aware of it? Well, the first thing we should probably do is zoom back out so we can see the grand scheme of things. And now, this is actually probably the easiest thing you ever will learn in your life. If you just hold down control and click anywhere in this tab bar controller and add a line, boom, look at that. It adds that connection, but now it's asking, what kind of connection do you want? And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about all of these in detail later on, but for right now, just choose view controllers. That's kind of like the default connection. And now you can see that we indeed do have an arrow. And another thing I wanna point out, if I zoom back into 100%, I also wanna show you guys that we have this third item or icon on the tab bar controller. So first, second, those link to those on the right, in this last one, this item, it links to this view right here. Now, another thing I want to point out, I keep forgetting, is you know how I drew, or whenever I added that main view controller, that additional screen, I added it right below this tab bar controller. It doesn't really matter where you add it. I just did that because, I don't know, there's some space down here, but you can add it above to the left. You can even add it way over here. It doesn't really matter. So uh, I just wanted to point that out real quick. So anyways, zoom back into 100. And now let's go ahead and run this again and see what we're working with. All right, so we got the first given to us by default, the second, and now we have this third right like that. So now we can navigate between the three, which is pretty sweet, but we have a couple issues. First of all, it's called item. And I want to change it to profile. Second, um, we're kind of missing an icon right here. So in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to fix all of those problems. And also, right now, we just have a screen and it doesn't have any brains. So I'm going to show you guys how to add brains to your screens too.